Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a tad bit different. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Little backstory, why I picked this foundation up because most of you guys know if you watch my videos that I am oily. I am very oily. I was at Walmart and I was passing through the makeup aisle and I still happened to see the Pro Glow Foundation. It's been sold out everywhere. So I was kind of curious like, hmm, let me see what the texture feels like since it's been sold out. And I don't know, I was just curious because I love, love, love the Infallible Pro Matte because I'm oily of course. So this was the last one in my shade. I picked it up and I like swatched it on my hand. This the texture and the finish I was loving because the texture wasn't so much of a dewy dewy texture. It would just look like healthy natural skin. So I was like, hmm, this is a plus. But I was still kind of really scared because I am oily because I did not want it to move around my makeup or slide off my skin because I'm so oily. So and then I just kept looking at my hand throughout the store and held it up to the light and I asked my mom like hey mom what do you think? So because it was the last one and I was just fighting with myself like should I get it, should I not get it? I winded up getting it and here I am wanting to swatch it with you guys. So this is the, like I said, the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. It says that it lasts up to 24 hours. I don't wear my makeup for 24 hours, but if you do, hey, this says it lasts. Um, the back of it says the finish is radiant. Um, it says it wears up to 24 hours. The coverage is the medium and the texture is air light. So we are going to see, see if it actually matches its name. And the shade I got, uh, I got this in the shade 209 Caramel Beige. The shade that I wear in the matte is the 109 Caramel, I think it's called. I wear 109 Classic Tan in the matte foundation. And this one is 209 in the Pro Glow. <sighs> so let's see. I'm going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water to prime my face. And of course, my brows are done like always. If you guys want a brow tutorial, an updated one, let me know because I may film it. Then I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the matte finish. And I'm going to really make sure that I prime my skin really, really well because I do not need this sliding off my base. And by the way, I picked this foundation up from Walmart. It was $10.98, which is pretty decent because at, Wal at Walgreens, I believe they sell it for $13. Walmart is the cheapest that I've seen so far. And I was shocked because I was like, I thought these were sold out. So it really made me want to get it. If I don't like it, it's going right back to the store. But... I wanted to get it so my skin is all primed of course and I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to take my pro glow foundation and I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand just by it just by looking at it it's really runny it's not like super runny but it's runny not super runny but it's runny so let's see I'm gonna dab my beauty blender and honestly right now it's really really air light I'm not gonna lie the coverage is not full at all it's very much so light to medium more so on the light side 
but if it's anything like the infallible foundation it's probably buildable but we're going to see once we continue working it into the skin and to be honest it just looks like healthy skin it doesn't look like a dewy overly dewy foundation like it says pro glow it just looks like it looks like a normal foundation for normal skin to be honest which I usually don't buy <laughs> I buy everything that's like oil free and for matte and mattifying and anything that does not oil my skin but we're going to see so it's definitely light to medium coverage it really does not feel like anything on my face to be honest Let's do a little bit of the forehead area. It, it really doesn't feel like anything's on my face. The color is pretty, pretty close. Um, yeah, I'm comfortable with this shade. And MAC, I'm NC45. And Makeup Forever, I'm 173. So, with that matters and this is what the foundation looks like on one side of my face and this is what the other side of my face looks like this is the side with no makeup on this is the infallible so just as half of my face is done as you can see and it really just looks like nice healthy skin it's not too glowy it just gives me a somewhat radiant look but it honestly is not overly dewy like I thought it would be I stay away from anything that's like glowy dewy moisturizing unless it's skincare because I do not need my skin like acting crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the other side but honestly it's definitely buildable like definitely buildable And the foundation kind of matches my neck a little bit too light but it's definitely like once your skin oxidizes it'll oxidize right along with it and when I swatched it on my hand it looked really really nice and healthy but as we know our hand texture and our face texture are always totally different so I always like to apply it on my face and wear it for a day just to see because you really can't go by your hand the texture and the skin is totally different so right now I'm feeling it is definitely buildable definitely buildable so I'm definitely feeling the foundation it really just makes my skin look so natural and gorgeous and just naturally radiant I want to go ahead and just finish off the rest of my face and I'm just going to use this LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. And then we will let's check back in. Alright guys, so this is what my makeup looks like all complete. I have on my highlight, my bronze, my contour, my lip, my eyeshadow, my everything. The only thing that I don't have on is lashes, which that does not matter when it comes to this foundation. The time is 3.49, 3.49, and we're going to see how this makeup wears throughout the day. So throughout this video, I will be checking back in with you guys, updating you on my face and how it lasted. I'm going to try and wear this foundation at least to like 11, 12 o'clock tonight. So we will see how it looks. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little. Alright guys, so right now it is 8.38. It has almost been, been 5 hours since I put this foundation on. Right now, I'm really not that oily. To be honest, like, on like the sides of my nose, I'm getting a little oily. And a little bit on my T-zone area. But other than that, it's like, it's really not that 
like dewy and it's not like sliding off my face so so far it's not like overly oily which I thought it would be since I'm really really oily so so far this foundation is giving my skin really really a healthy look it's giving my skin a very very healthy look so far and I'm actually loving this foundation like I wouldn't mind putting it back on for the summertime so we'll keep saying I just I just got back from from Target Smoothie King shop right so I've been outside I even stopped by the mall and it's still still looking pretty decent so remember, Remember guys, I just don't have on just this foundation. I have on a concealer on top of it and everything else. But it's, it's holding its place really nice. It's not really oily at all looking at my finger. I could tell if I'm oily because I'll be like, my finger will be caked up with makeup and oil. But... Really nothing, so I'm really, really surprised about this foundation. And I so right now, I'm checking out. Okay, guys, so right now it's 12, 16 at night. You could probably tell by my voice. <laughs> but right now it's 12, 16 at night. And this is how my makeup looks. So right now, I'm oily still around my nose my basically my t-zone it has been has been about eight or nine hours that i've had this makeup on so overall i think that the makeup did really really good for me to be oily i would um i wouldn't so much call it a dewy dewy foundation i would just say it's a foundation that is basically like kind of like a healthy looking normal foundation for normal skin um so I would definitely wear it some more like I didn't think that it moved my makeup around at all I think it gave me a very very nice healthy look to my skin I think that the price range was great and for me to be oily I think it did a wonderful job so I would highly recommend this if you are strictly, strictly, strictly like an oily, oily person and you strictly buy mattifying things or things to mattify your skin, I would recommend this foundation. But if you like a healthy looking, glowy, air light, not so much glowy, but just a nice, healthy, radiant looking uh, foundation for your skin, I would recommend this foundation especially for the summer because it is very air light and it feels like I really have nothing on my face so I'm going to end this video here because my eyes are burning if you like more videos like this please 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 be sure to thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more more of my videos and thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it and thank you to all my new subscribers you guys just don't understand how much this means to me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.